Okay, let's dive in. Imagine this visitor, right, from way outside our solar system. We usually think, okay, another icy rock. But what if this latest one, uh, 3i Atlas, isn't a rock at all? What if it's, you know, something else, maybe technological? Mm -hmm. Today, we're looking deep into this third interstellar object ever found, 3i Atlas, and this really fascinating, maybe a bit unsettling idea that it might be an alien craft. Yeah. We'll unpack the uh, weird uh, anomalies, the science behind it, and what it could mean based on what we're seeing and hearing from the experts. Yeah, it's definitely got people talking. 3i Atlas was picked up on July 1st, 2025. NASA's Atlas Telescope in Chile spotted it. I mean, that system's designed to find things near Earth, but this one stood out. It's moving incredibly fast. Uh, 130,000 miles per hour, that's about 60 kilometers a second. And the key thing really is its orbit. Highly hyperbolic. Eccentricity of 6.2. Whoa! Which basically just means its path is super open. A clear sign it came from, you know, way out there, not just looping around our sun. And right away it was kind of puzzling, wasn't it? It was so bright. Initially they thought maybe it's huge, like a 20 kilometer asteroid. But uh, that would be really, really rare. We should see loads of smaller ones first, like Oumuamua. Exactly. And the light signature was odd, too. Spectroscopy showed, okay, sunlight reflecting off it looked reddish, but there were no clear signs of, like, cometary gas, no fingerprints of molecules you'd expect. So it wasn't shedding stuff like a normal comet would as it gets closer to the sun. Not clearly, no. Which left its actual nature pretty ambiguous, kind of mysterious. And that ambiguity, that's where this... Uh, Alien craft idea starts to bubble up, right? Pushed by scientists like Avi Loeb. Precisely. And what really fuels it is the trajectory. It's just anomalous. So its orbital plane is retrograde. It goes against the flow of the planets. Okay, that happens. But it's also within just five degrees of Earth's own orbital plane. Five degrees? That sounds really close. It is. The chances of that happening randomly. Something like 0.2%. <laughs> Tiny. Okay, that's striking. And it doesn't stop there, does it? The close passes to planets. Right. It gets unusually close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Dr. Loeb actually calculated the odds for this. I mean, if its arrival time was just random, less okay. than 0.005% probability. Wow. Less than 0.0005%. That feels deliberate, like it's taking a tour. Well, that's the question, isn't it? Why such a specific path? Could it be intentional? And then there's the timing of its closest pass to the sun, October 29th, 2025. When it happens, it'll be perfectly hidden from us, from Earth, by the sun itself. Hidden? Why would it do that? Well, one uh, speculative idea is for a reverse solar Oberth maneuver, using the sun's gravity to slow down dramatically, maybe even get captured into our system, and doing it while completely hidden from our telescopes. It's convenient, let's say. Hmm. You know, it's almost impossible not to think of Arthur C. Clarke Rendezvous with Rama, that whole story about an interstellar object turning out to be an alien ship. And didn't he picture it as a big cylinder, like 20 kilometers, similar to the size estimate for 3i Atlas, if it's solid? The parallels are definitely there, and it's a compelling thought. But uh, we need to be careful and circle back to the science. Despite these really interesting anomalies, the official classification is still comet. Many astronomers fully expect it will start acting like one develop a big tail of water vapor as it gets warmer near the sun. Okay. Some even think it could be, like, the oldest comet we've ever seen. A relic from the galaxy's ancient history, maybe billions of years older than our sun. Right. And it's really important to frame Avi Loeb's perspective correctly, too. He calls this alien craft idea a pedagogical exercise, you know, exploring the what-ifs. It's not him saying this is an alien ship. Exactly. He's been very clear the most likely answer is natural. A comet, probably. A lot of the hostile alien stuff you might see, that was media spin, really sensationalized. So the takeaway isn't just aliens. It's more about how science uses these edge cases, these uh, thought experiments, to push for better data, to question assumptions. Precisely. It forces us to look harder, get better observations. But we will get better observations soon, won't we? Hopefully. The James Webb and Hubble telescopes are scheduled to take a look. They should give us much clearer data on its chemistry, its size, maybe even its structure. That'll be crucial. So wrapping this up, what does it all mean for you listening? Well, 3i Atlas really pushes us to think outside the docks about what could be drifting between the stars. Possibilities that used to be just sci-fi. Yeah, and whether it turns out to be a rock or... Uh something else it's discovery along with others we expect from new observatories like vera rubin it's opening a whole new chapter we're starting to talk seriously about maybe sending probes to meet these objects intercept them which is a huge shift so here's a final thought what if the proof of alien intelligence isn't some faint radio signal from light years away 
What if it's something that flies right into our own cosmic backyard? Are we actually ready to look and, you know, really learn whatever the answer turns out to be?